the Milton Keynes Bowl, you headlined in 1986. I mean, take us back. It must have been absolutely unbelievable for you. It was, yeah. Yeah. I just remember, I think Jethro told supported us on that. And I remember going on stage and looking to my left and seeing Ian Addison standing there watching us, which sort of got me a little bit jittery. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, just it was an amazing concert and an amazing firework display afterwards as well. Really? Yeah. And an all-night drinking session. Uh. <laughs> it was a great gig, though, because, I mean, everything about it, you know, the weather was just perfect. Everything was perfect about it. It was mm. really good. And we played Aylesbury Civic, or, or Flyers, yeah. Yeah. shortly before it, and we put in the full production there, same production that we were going to use at Milton Keynes, which is quite a stupid thing to do. Really. <laughs> and it's, it was... And then it's snow. Well, there was something... I can't remember. I can't snow, it? It was, it was really summer, bad weather, wasn't it? <laughs> it was bad weather. As it you can bad. see, our memories are all intact. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was the biggest audience we played to that had just come for us. We'd done big festivals in, in Europe, especially in Germany, but um, an audience, you know, based on the draw of our name, so it, 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 yeah, it, it was a vindication of, of that we'd actually achieved something, I suppose, to be able to play your own, in effect, festival. It's one thing being told, because obviously, you know, we knew... It, this was on the cards for quite a while and mm. I just couldn't believe it was going to happen. You know, and it was nice to headline a boat with Jethro Tull because about two years previously, three years previously, we played at the Thinkstons Music Festival and we were, I think we were first on, it was like 82. Yes. And Jethro Tull were headlining. So mm. this is the way these things go, isn't it? You know, one minute you're at the top, yeah. next minute you will change places, you know. So you should always be nice to people. You never know where, where you're going to end up. Yeah. I remember an early gig where we opened for Lindisfarne at the Queensway Hall in Dunstable. And I hear it's been knocked down, which is probably not a bad thing because it was a bit of a strange shape. Yeah. <laughs> if you stood in the middle towards the back, it acted like a some sort of yeah. parabolic reflector, and you got this harsh oh, sound. Yeah. It was a horrible yeah. sound in there. Yeah. But um, no, we've got good memories of that place. Yeah. They were fantastic in the sound check, and then they all went down the pub. And by the time the gig came round, they were oh. not quite as on it. I thought. And then there was the pub, the Wheat Chief, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, the yeah there Chief was. Played yeah. there a few times. Yeah, there's, I suppose there was a lot of gigs that aren't there anymore, like the. What was the, the gig in Hitchin, the Regal? And there was the, yeah, yeah there's, I mean, there's, we did hundreds of gigs in the early days, lots of pubs and stuff around around this area, so mm. but quite a lot of it's faded into the it distance, to be. be honest. Probably, I mean, there used to be, you could, you could do seven gigs in Aylesbury alone. I mean, back in the sort of late 70s, early 80s, you could do a lot of gigs in each, lo each local town would have three or four venues. So there was, there was a, a lot of scope for live bands. Back in the old days. <laughs>